Ukraine is developing new ground combat drones that are controlled via fiber optic cables, allowing them to bypass Russian electronic warfare systems. We are talking about UDVs, ground-based remotely controlled robots, writes Business Insider. Brave One, an organization that coordinates military innovation, said the drones have already attracted the attention of the military in Kiev due to their resistance to jamming. Fiber optic cables can also serve as an alternative communication channel for UDV control in situations where other types of connections are unavailable due to strong electronic interference, Brave One said. Seven prototypes were tested in recent trials in Ukraine. Brave One identified several promising robots whose primary purpose is combat missions or self-destruct attacks. Such a system is less suitable for logistics because cables can get tangled or caught on obstacles. Unlike conventional radio communications, fiber optic channels provide stable video and control transmission over long distances. Previously, this technology was used mainly in FPV drones. UDVs can deliver ammunition, evacuate the wounded, attack enemy positions or detonate near vehicles. A Ukrainian official told BI that such robots could be the next technology that will change the rules of war. Both Ukraine and Russia have used UDVs in combat. Some models have machine guns and thermal images for night operations. Brave One emphasizes that tactical approaches to using the new fiber optic UDVs need to be developed. This is happening in cooperation with the military. Ukraine plans to receive thousands of such systems by 2025. As media reported, Russia was the first to start using optical fiber drones on a large scale to bypass Ukrainian electronic warfare. This gave the Russians a certain advantage that has been maintained for several months now. According to some estimates, Russian optical fiber drones have become one of the key factors in Ukraine's loss of territory in the Kursk region. At the same time as Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sursky said today, Ukrainian drones on fiber optics with a range of 20 kilometers are already operating at the front, and Ukraine is working to ensure that there are more of these drones. Ukraine Security Service, SBU, has interrogated the two Chinese prisoners of war who had been fighting alongside the Russian army and were captured by Ukrainian troops on Tuesday. The video of the interrogation has been circulated in Telegram app. One of the prisoners, Jean Renbua who is from China's Jiangxi province, said he had never participated in a combat operations before he got to Ukraine and never held a weapon. After his conscription to the Russian army, Renbo was given an AK-74 weapon and sent to his first combat operation. The hostage said that at the time of capture by Ukrainians there were two Russian soldiers with him. Another captured Chinese national, Wang Guangjuan, from Hunan province of Zhengzhou City, explained that he and his fellow servicemen surrendered in a group of three. One of the captured men was Russian. Two other Chinese soldiers were lost somewhere, Guangjuan said. Furthermore, Guangjuan, 34, described the moment of his capture, explaining that Ukrainian troops threw some kind of explosive with gas on them while in the shelter. Guangjuan said he thought he would die but then Ukrainian servicemen rushed in and dragged him out, and after that he lost consciousness. The Chinese man said Ukrainian saved him. This was the second publicized interrogation of Guangjuan. The first video of him being questioned by the SBU was shared by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday. Zelensky said these were two of many Chinese soldiers fighting within the Russian army. The Ukrainian leader accused Kremlin of directly or indirectly involving China in its war of invasion in Ukraine and urged Beijing to respond to the incident. On Wednesday, Chinese Foreign Ministry verified reports of the capture of the two Chinese nationals by the Ukrainian forces.
呃，我叫张仁波，来自中国江西。呃，我现在在乌克兰被俘虏。呃，我名字张仁波，我是个人民解放军的平民江西。呃，现在我住在波兰，乌克兰。是不是有参与在这场战争中？也，或者是参与在这场？拥有呃，参加呃，战斗行为呃。对于乌克兰军人，呃，这是我第一次出出出任务，也是当时就是我第一次经历战斗。我没有，呃，我自始至终都没有开过一枪。这不，你不是危险，不是不不作战呀，到最后也没把付出去，不不作战呀，也都。до того, як я потрапив туди, я нікого не не тримав до брови в руках. А яка у вас була зброя? Я ж матян. Він до AK-74. AK-74. Хто з вами був разом з кількох вас людей було? Нашого нікінчий зайти, я у кого ті гра? У мене ж два гри. Хто у мене нас було двоє? Who is this? Who is this? He is a Russian man. Russian man. My name is Wang Guangjun. Wang Guangjun. My name is Wang Guangjun. I am a citizen of Kitai. What is your name? China, Henan. Henan, Zhengzhou. I am from the province of Henan, the city of Zhengzhou. I am 34 years old. I am now in Ukraine, in Poland. Where are you from? Where are you from? Jemand jou, jemand laat jou, ze zal doen jou ugeren, dat man. Leren de Elusiren, zijn de jongeren, dat man. Elusiren, tu tu jou zal tu jou schilder, dat man. Hij is, ik ga het hij zeggen, ik kan het niet helemaal begrijpen. Is we niet zijn we niet zijn we 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 他们去到了不知道什么地方，我们又遇到了另外两个第十队的，我们是四队，他们是十队。嗯，我们在半路的荒野中遇到了。啊、嗯，然后是那那那时候是你是一个中国人，还有三个，还有三个俄罗斯人。对，三个俄罗斯，就临时组的，然后就不知道什么情况就开始。嗯、这这这个三个俄罗斯人其中有没有你的你的小队的人？就编女，就他带着我投降。啊，其他的中国人他们都算了。我也不知道是死了还是。呃，我们是到了四队，呃，我们是到了四队，呃，这有四个军官，一个编女，一个啥子的。呃，其他的俄罗斯人，他们有在那块儿在马路上，他们都被围了，很惨。А ще два китайця вони загубилися. А як ви кажете, що українці допомогли Гретмановим життя, як і що ви маєте на вулиці? Ні, що у Калайнен тьола ні, тьола ні, це ми тьола. Це ж Галасу в нього дібо лі мен тол тхи лей ва сі. 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 我滑雪还是什么？呃，烟雾很浓，很呛、啊啊，很窒息的烟雾。嗯，然后我不知道如何躲避，我就傻傻的待在那里、嗯。然后我感觉我已经要死，窒息了。然后乌克兰的战士已经跑出去，他又下来拉着我的领子，嗯、把我给拽了上去。但是在拽的过程当中，我已经昏迷了。嗯哼，我觉得没有是。哦，对。嗯Врятували таким чином, що вже коли він здався в полон, росіяни скинули на них якусь вибухівку з газами. Він знаходився всередині укриття, надихався цим газом. Він думав, що він вже загине, але український військовий прибіг, витягнув його за шкірки назовні. І вже після того він втратив свідомість. 